the vast majority of feedback I've gotten, whether through email or on Facebook or LinkedIn, has actually been very positive. You know, thank you for the courage um, to stand up. Um, I've gotten, you know, in emails, I probably 25% of the emails are from Trump supporters, and they're not quite so complimentary. But actually, as a citizen, not really the CEO of Hewlett Packard Enterprise, as a citizen, I felt like I had to say what I thought was the best thing for this country and the best thing for our economy. And I really feel strongly that Hillary Clinton is by far and away, away the better choice in this election. And Howard, I think, said it well. We have two people. One of those two people is going to be president of the United States. And you have to make a choice about who you think is better for the country. And my view was I had to put country before party. Obviously. 60 some odd days to go. But have you been impressed or surprised by the resilience of his poll numbers? And are you starting to wrap your head around the idea that he might be around for the next four years? I'm not starting to wrap my head around that. <laughs> I think that would be such a, a bad outcome for the United States of America and the creation of jobs and our standing around the world in terms of, you know, the rest of the world, when I travel outside the United States, heads of state, business leaders, they actually are terribly, terribly worried about Donald Trump as a president. So, listen, I think we've got, you know, another, what, nine weeks to go. A lot will happen here. But I have to say, I think Hillary has the temperament, the experience. She knows what the job is, and I think she'll do actually an excellent job. And I think she will be far better for business and the economy than most people give her credit for. Why do you believe that? I have been through her economic policy. She is, um, I actually believe in her infrastructure projects that she wants to do. We are falling behind in the United States with infrastructure. It's far, you know, it will ease the flow of goods and people around this country. Small business, she's very focused on small business. She understands two thirds of jobs are created by small business. She wants to reduce the red tape and the regulation. And she has a very robust skills training program. And if this um, election has exposed one thing, it is we have a huge group of people who have been left behind by globalization and uh, a change in, in industries. And we have got to help those people get new jobs, retrain, reskill. And if we don't, I think we're going to be in the same situation in another four years. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.